If you want to see future director's commentaries, become a patron at patreon.com slash official. Okay, welcome to the director's commentary for why I like recommended for you. It's still crazy to me that this video, that why I like recommended for you is finally out because it's just been so long in the works and I never thought it would actually get finished just because like I've been pushing it back so many times but finally it's finally out and I'm so glad that it's finally out because I thought it would never get finished but thankfully my computer had to get reset because for some reason my hard drive was acting up and my computer just did not want to start up properly so we had to reset my main hard drive and I started to worry that I'd lose all of the files on my personal files, so I decided that then would be the perfect time to resume work on why I like recommended for you. Turns out I didn't lose all my personal files, but I still decided to go ahead and like put all my f like put all my work put all my time into working on why I like recommended for you. It's just so like because it's I've been delayed I delayed it so many times that I felt like I had to do it now. So, yeah. And originally, actually, this video wasn't originally going to feature my clone in it, and it was just going to be me. Just like how the previous episode of PTB Originals, No Cutting Corners, also didn't feature my clone. Because I wasn't really... Well, it wasn't my clone back then, actually. It was my future self. But it's my clone now. And originally that was just because... uh because of the fact that I forgot it was actually my future self and not my clone. But it's actually going to have, now it's going to have more of a, like a narrative reasoning for behind that in the future. In the future, in a clip very soon episode, that'll be explained. So look forward to see, hearing about that. But yeah, during... Yeah, it took a long... It was a very long time of editing. Like, I took, like, a month just to, like, get, like, over a month just to, like, edit everything because I wanted to make sure it was as good as I could possibly make it because I just wanted it to look, be like, as good as possible since it's been such a long time. People are waiting for a while, like, recommended for you. At least, like, the long time fans were. So I just really wanted to make something that lives up to that hype. And from what I've, and from the opinions of, about it I've seen so far, it seems like I've been successful in that, so that's pretty good. And, yeah, I also, sorry that I've been hesitating so much, it's just, I haven't really got to pre-plan this, and I feel like if I did pre-plan this, I don't know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't feel as natural, I think. It wouldn't really, it would sound like I'm just, r like a, because normally when I read off a script, I'm, I sound like a robot. Especially when, like, my face isn't on screen. When my face is on screen, I feel more justified to, like, make my voice sound more natural when my face is on screen. But when I'm just reading off a script as, like, a uh, voiceover, like this, it doesn't... I can't... I have, a hard, I have a harder time making it sound more natural. So that's why I'm unscripted right now, but... Anyways, I should stop blathering about that because um, this video is on the uh, why I like recommended for you is only so long, and then I'll be talking a lot when there's no footage playing. So I'm gonna stop talking about that and onto something else. Uh. Yeah, for um, my clone, I've made I did a bunch of things like distractions, like. Well, like, things in the background, because, uh, like, so, like, just to show that Aaron's, my, that my clone is doing different things in the background, like, doing stuff, do, doing stuff in my room to make it really seem like, uh, my clone is trying to, is, like, bothering me and stuff. Yeah. I'm really proud of why I, like, recommended for you, if you couldn't tell. Uh, 
And I was originally going to talk a lot more about Foster Slump for Imaginary Friends, but as I explained in the video, it's because I wanted to talk more about, like, recommendations, because, like, that's part of the title of the video, even. Like, it's to... It's for, like, talking about YouTube recommendations. It's not really talking about that. So I decided to have it in its own video in the future. Sometime in the future, I'll be making it in its own video. So, yeah. Well, you'll, have to, you'll be able to look forward to that. And also just, I'll also be having an addendum to the video which talks more over that. And I might also have a, uh, like a definitive edition version of the video which lives more up to like, like how I imagine the video turning out as well as like some extra stuff that I originally had planned to include in this video as well as like some extra content. Maybe even this director's commentary will be part of the definitive edition. So you might be listening to this from the definitive edition version of the video. But we'll see. Well, right now you might be listening to it through the director's, director's commentary as well, but it might also be part of the definitive edition if I ever do make a definitive edition, if I feel the need to make a definitive edition. And also, fun fact, I actually, originally, I was gonna have, I was gonna talk about BFDI and Zedley Comics in a separate video, but I decided that since I was gonna have more of a focus on Recommended instead of Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, I thought... Well, there was, there, it was going to be a very short video if I didn't combine the two videos, so I decided to also talk about BFDI and Deadly Comics as well in that same video, just because it would be way too, it would be too short if, if I didn't. Sorry for the awkward pauses, by the way. This is my first time doing this kind of thing. I've never done a director's commentary before, so sorry that I'm kind of bad at it right now. I'll hopefully I'll be able to improve in the future. And also, if you enjoy uh, this, then um, if you become a patron of my channel, you'll get access to all future director's commentary, so you'll be able to listen to me talk. Hopefully, it won't be like r rambling as much as like I'm doing here, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> and also I have like different markers in editing for different things. Like for like the, for example that explosion of the clone's entrance was also like one of the markers because how I edit is like I edit in different like stages. Like well for like big projects like this I edit in different stages so it's easier for me to edit. And also so I can get all the boring stuff out of the way before doing the fun edits. Like first, I do like rough cutting, which is just like getting rid of all the stuff that like bloopers is getting rid of all the bloopers as well as like parts where I'm not talking at all or messing up lines. And then I add the clone masking, like masking the clone into the scene next. And then I add uh, audio audio engineering just to like make the audio sound as good as possible and make sh making sure all the uh, volume levels are pretty consistent with the video, so that the viewer doesn't have to keep changing the volume on whatever they're watching so that they get an enjoyable viewing experience by just keeping their volume the same and they shouldn't have to change it all that much because I always find it annoying when I'm watching a video and I have to constantly change my volume because of how often the volume level changes. I found a lot of YouTubers have that and I don't really like that so that's why I put a decent bit of effort into audio engineering in my videos. And then after audio engineering, I add um, special effects such as that one, just such as this one. Well, this one, this one isn't really a special effect, it's just adding, like, it's B-roll. And then I add special effects, also I added special effects like the and plus, like how I showed the plus sign. Yeah, that's also one of the special effects I add after audio engineering. And then after all that, I make sure, like, I add the, like, title cards for the different chapters. I add the footage in the background of that, as well as, like, the credits and stuff. And then once I'm all done with that, I finally get to export it and set up the upload. And so, yeah, that's the basic process of how a video gets finished on my channel. And so, yeah, I have big plans for the second part of why I like Recommended for You. I don't really know if it's accurate to really call it a second part. 
but like it is the a continuation of the storyline of part two of why I like recommended for you. So I guess it technically is like a part two to why I like recommended for you, but it's not going to be called that because that would be kind of silly. But I'm not going to spoil anything about it. But it does have more to do about my clone, which isn't actually my clone, as I mentioned near the end of the video. I'm actually right about that at the end of the video, but <clears throat> so excuse me. Um, excuse me again. But um, yeah, I just got, I'll just yeah that'll be explained in part two. But I'm not going to say anything about that because I don't want any spoil. I don't want to give you guys any spoilers. But I already know what I'm going to do for that video. But I'm not gonna spoil it. And yeah, all these content creators that I mentioned in this video, I really actually enjoy. So I highly recommend you check them out if you like want to see what their videos are like. And yeah, I actually really like these content creators. I wasn't just, I wasn't actually, I wasn't just playing it up for the video. I actually really like these, uh, like these channels because they actually make really decent videos and. I wanted to like share actual opinions about different things in this video just to make it seem just to make it like cuz this is like I'm not just making this because well I don't know I don't know what the right words to use but like I just wanted to show I wanted to accur accurately show how YouTube recommended can be good so I gave examples of actual times that uh, YouTube recommended appealed to me so just to, like pr show you guys how recommended can be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, Scott, yeah, Scott. Seth the Waz is like the whole re like, um, Modern's APTV Originals is very ha is, hev is pretty heavily inspired by Scott the Waz, except I don't quite have nearly as many skits in uh, my videos as Scott does, but I'm hoping to change that soon with, uh, well, you'll see. I don't want to spoil anything, but there are going to start being a lot more skits in future episodes of PTB Originals. And yes, if you're curious about the timing with that in the video, it's because, yeah, as, as you're seeing the video on screen, I'm also seeing the video, so that's why it was so perfectly in sync with uh, that one clip of me pressing the like button on Borderline Forever showing up. Oh yeah, and this end sequence... Yeah, it's kind of funny that um, I was thinking about differentiating my clone's voice to make it more obvious that uh, my clone is a separate, per like a separate entity than me. But I think it's funnier that it's separate. But it'll be extra obvious that my clone isn't actually me in in the near future. But yeah, I was planning on like maybe changing my shirt or something to differentiate the two. But I think it's funnier that they're the exact same, and it makes more sense logically, and it gives it more similarity to my future self from previous episodes of PTB Originals because my future self also wore the same exact sh clothing. That I wore, that present me wore, so that kind of like adds a connect, like makes it feel similar to how my clone acted. Like I mean, how my future self acted. So like it makes it feel like more of the same character. Sorry, I'm trying to think of some like fun trivia about why I like recommended for you because most of the things like well are pretty cool things to know and you probably wouldn't know them before like they aren't super cool trivia that you wouldn't know normally I guess they are actually I don't know what I'm saying but I, I'm just kind of running dry of things to say like I have one more thing to say and it's quite a long conversation but I don't really want to say that until like the credits begin because it's about it's about the credits, but I don't want to talk about it just right now because... But if I keep talking about that, then eventually I'm going to get to the credits before I get to talk about anything else, so... Um, I guess for another piece of uh, trivia, there... Originally, yeah, I was originally planning on 
having like crazy special VFX and stuff. Like I was originally gonna have an After Effects uh, clip of me uh, holding the text saying "Aaron from Aaron press the button" and rotating it in front of me. Um, but it didn't really get it to look that good, and I just didn't get it to look the way I wanted. And I also wanted like a bunch of other cool like blender shots. But I was way too overly ambitious with that, so I was like, no. Eventually I had to tell myself that it's fine if it does it's not like a Captain Disillusion level of editing. It doesn't really matter that all that much. It just needs to be a great video. It doesn't need it doesn't need those attributes to make it a great video. It can still be a great video without those attributes. without those attributes. And about the credits music. It's actually really funny because um, how I found out about... It's a really funny coincidence. How I found out about the credits song was I, for the Deadly Comics portion of the video. I was looking for music uh, for it, like for backing mu for background music that was also like from Deadly Comics video. And Deadly Comics put out a video with like a bunch of their music so far into one video. And they also had like, yeah, one one song, and it was f and it said like Shadrow Water Water Kerfuffle. I don't know how to properly pronounce pronounce that. I hadn't had to pronounce that ever since just now, ever uh, until just now. So I, I think it's Water I don't know how to pronounce it properly because I didn't have to pronounce it until just now. But I was like, what what's that? Like, what's that? Is that like an album or something? So then I look further into it, and it turns out that, yeah, that actually is an album, which uh, the, a bonus song has, and a, from a bonus song from it, it is used in a Deadly Comics video, and also the album art is by Deadly Comics, and it turns out... Sorry, my dad just came into the room. Uh, and it turns out the opening track to that album has to do with nostalgia. So, like, it was, like, the perfect fit for the credits music for this video. That was just hilarious because, like, Deadly Comics is also a portion of the video. And Deadly Comics is, like, pretty closely tied to that this song. Because, like, they made the album art for the album that this song is from. As well as just, yeah. As well as, like... Yeah, the bonus song, one of the bonus songs is by Little Comics, and the opening track in that album has to do with nostalgia, which is also a topic that is discussed a lot in this video. So that's just really, that's just a really odd coincidence. And yeah, it feels good to finally get this director's. Well, I don't, I shouldn't say finally. It's only the next day after why I like recommended for you has just premiered. So it's, it hasn't really been that long of a time between. Uh, videos, but like between then and now, but I'm running out of time to talk about this because now it's we're at the outro portion of my why I like recommended free. But I guess I can go a little bit over, but it'll just be kind of boring because it'll just be a black screen for the rest of it. But oh well, I guess we can just live with having a black screen for the rest of the video. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up shortly because I can't really think of much else to say, and if I do have anything else to say, I'll say it in uh, the definitive edition of Why I Like Recommended For You. And in that, I'll also show the clips that didn't make it into Why I Like Recommended For You because they were too overly ambitious. Because, like, they were had crazy VFX, and I couldn't get them quite the way I wanted. So I just scrapped them because I couldn't get them the way I wanted. And I decided that VFX, it didn't really matter. So I'm going to include those clips that I didn't use from before my computer got reset and I had to restart production. And I reset production on why I like recommended for you just because it was too overly ambitious before. So yeah, the clips before that I'll have in definitive edition of why I like recommended for you. Sorry if I repeat myself a lot in this video. It's just I was doing all this un unscripted. Again, uh, just to mention that I was doing all this unscripted just because... Yeah, I sound like a robot if I do it scripted, oh, a scripted voiceover, so that's why. And I don't really want to do all that much editing to this video, so that's why... Well, I might not even do like much of any editing into this video, so that's why 
I didn't really want to uh, have a script because having a script like means that there's probably going to be editing because I'm going to m- mess up some of my lines. And not having a script means I don't have any lines to mess up, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I think that's all I can think of saying. If I have anything more to say, I'll say it in the definitive edition of why I like recommended for you. But yeah, that about wraps up the very first director's commentary for one of my videos. So thanks for watching. See you in the next director's commentary if you decide to become a patron.